shit, shit, shit! Let's go, let's go! Check this shit out. That muerto's got no skin. We need to go, like now. That gate won't last long. I told you we were better off on our own. Right. The woods were way better than an army base stocked with food. <laughs> shit. There's brainless in here. How'd they get inside? Maybe that's why there's nobody here. What the hell? Where'd everybody go? Looks like they left in a hurry, too. We should try to find you a better weapon. This is officially the shittiest refugee camp I've ever seen. But the poor bastards shambling around would agree, if they weren't dead. Seriously, you need a better weapon. Que bueno. Hey, check out these notes. You know, I'd write one for you if you got lost. Why am I the one who's gonna get lost? Okay, you can write one for me then. Damn. Whatever. Thanks for fantasizing about me going MIA. Let's just keep moving.
hell is this place? The last stand for bureaucracy? Shut tight. Just like the muerto we saw outside the gate. Ah, damn it! It bit me. I hate that. We both had worse. They set more rules in fucking high school. Uh-huh. Shit, this bite is really itching. I'm sorry. I'll be faster next time. Dios mío. The fuck is all this? Oh, barf. That shit is nasty. I feel like I'm burning up. Seriously, this is bad. I'm out of meds, but I'll find you something. Don't worry. Didn't we just leave this party? We can make it. Just keep quiet. The evac trucks left days ago. My girl heard the army ran these camps. Where is everybody? Orders came in to close these camps down and move on. No more army, my man. Not here. Just a few of us dumb enough to stay behind. Only me and the doc survived. Hey, not an exaggeration. My brain is on fire. Oh, shit. Tell me what bit her. Was this real nasty fucker? All covered in blood? What's wrong? This is bad. Real bad. You need serious help. The doc should still be down at the S&B. Tell her I sent you. Where did you two come from? I thought civilians had been gone for days. 
still trying to be. Was your friend bitten? That's my girl. It was a zombie with blood on the outside. I'm so sorry. You should come with me. Oh god. That's what bit me, one of those things. It's called blood plague. It's very contagious, and it doesn't take long to... do its job. What do you mean? That's gonna happen to me? Not as long as I'm around. Hey, I could use your help. Take your flashlight, go in there and look for a sample case. I need you to bring it to me. Before I lost my team, we were learning all we could about blood plague. We developed a cure, but it only works if you use it soon after infection. The army took our lab when they left, but they didn't get everything. Did you find it? No cure? Not good. I'll need an infirmary to culture a new dose. Hey doc, it's checkout time. Fucking Zeds are swarming the perimeter. Plague zombies too. I know you want to save Amari, but it's time for us to bounce. Amari's the reason we have a treatment. Exactly. Don't let that legacy die here. Other survivors are gonna need your help. Like her. Okay. But I can't just leave. Not like this. Do what you need to. But make it fast. I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I'm going to save your girlfriend if I can. Because no one deserves what happened to Amari. But I don't have the strength to... end things. God watch over you. I know I have a hard time letting people take care of me. For what it's worth, I'm glad we're together. Don't worry. I ain't doing the apocalypse without you. Thank you for doing what I couldn't. I'm riding shotgun. I hope your driving is good. I heard about a place we can try. Hopefully it's still safe. No more army, huh? So, how do we survive now? Hey, come on. As long as we're together, we can make it through anything. Sounds like we're empty again. We better be close. This is a place. Pull up here. This should be safe, uh, at least for a while. It's rustic, but it has what I need to get started. All right, sounds good. Hey, girl, you still doing okay there? Don't call me that. <clears throat> no, I feel like shit. I'm not surprised. Your condition is advancing. You need to go to the infirmary. Infirmary. Got it. But somebody better come up with an actual plan. Resting up will take care of this. You know how to cure this, right, Doc? Please, 
This isn't as good as having the actual cure, but I should be able to keep her blood plague from getting worse for a while. That is, if we can keep our supply of meds from running out. That's bullshit! Oh, relax, man. Nobody's dying today. Right, Doc? Not as long as we can find more plague samples and make the cure. The ones you found in my lab are good, but we need more. Well, shit, we can do that. I saw a good place to hunt for them on our way into town. Hey, what's poppin'? Yo, I need a hand. You down? Lead the way. Okay, better check the trunk for a toolkit. Might as well unload some of this shit now. Exactly factory new, but it'll get the job done. Okay, I'm gassing up the SUV now. We gotta scavenge more fuel if we want to keep it that way. I should go out for a quick drive, just to make sure the repair job worked. Okay, it's working fine. That's a relief. I'd hate to be stuck walking all the time. Driving is faster, safer, and lets me bring back a hell of a lot more supplies. Great. Another zombie. Goods are goods. Got your plague sample right here. I'm glad to hear it. Please hurry back. My patient is depending on you.
Hey, I'm back. How's my girl doing? Either I'm still alive or heaven really sucks. She's holding on, but we don't have much time. Please deposit that sample in the supply locker. We now have enough plague samples to make the cure she needs. We should get on that as soon as possible. Relax, babe. I have the cure in hand. You'll feel better in a sec. Did I hear something about a cure, or was I hallucinating? I don't know if hoping for a cure is gonna help, but why not try? You're one of us, and you're gonna stay one of us. You like me. You really like me. Back. We did it! Oh, we beat the goddamn blood plague. Nice work, people. I'm starting to think there ain't nothing that can stop us. This crew, we're survivors. Seems like the fuel gauges are getting... I'm gonna rest up. Okay, people. First day of school's over, and amazingly, we're still here. But if we're gonna make this town safe for people to live in, we gotta go after the Zeds. Screamers gather the dead around them like groupies. And I remember seeing one as we came into town. We need to make our home safe, rather than... We can make this place a lot friendlier if we use some building materials. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, nothing more to see here. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's not a thing. Nothing of use.
What up? Great, just great. Now this place is totally infested. Enjoy peace eternal, asshole. This feels risky. Tell me again why we're doing this. Letting this many zombies hang out so close to us is bad. You think that place might have some? Hey! Oh shit, that wasn't so hard. There's a lot more work to be done before this town is safe. We'd be crazy to try surviving out here on our own. Let's use the radio to find some friendly neighbors. I'm gonna need a lighter load soon. You want me to carry that rucksack for you? What up? These should be helpful. I picked them up while I was out. Not enough pockets for that. I'm already full up. Yeah? Yeah? No room for that. What up? No room. No place to put that. Yeah? What up?
go for it. That's nice ish. Thing. What else is new? I'm going to need a lighter load soon. And par for the course, this is totally devoid of anything useful. Yeah. If I can't use it, maybe someone else can. That's a lot of stuff. Just down the block from the place I lived as a teenager was a basketball court. Always full of people. Always. No matter what troubles you had, they'd fade away the moment your feet touched the asphalt. I'm declaring this location Zed free. I'd say this was a sign. If, you know, I believed in that stuff. Go for it. Good thing I'm used to disappointment. No place to put that.
Go for it. Yeah. Now that's heavy. That's a lot of stuff. Do I have to kill every zombie myself, people? That's not gonna happen. Hey, honeys, I'm home. Our stash of materials is really low.
Yeah. What up? What up? This will slow me down. No place to put that. Go for it. Yo, we're running dangerously low on ammo. up on a good place to search for materials. I just don't think this is our highest priority right now. Building a secure home is always a priority. Found it. Nice. Now to haul these materials back home. You want me to carry that rucksack for you? Please, hold your applause. Welcome home. I can't wait to see what you found. Yeah, but yesterday was okay, but today is actually good. Here's that thing you needed. Thank you. I think that's just what we needed. We can use those materials to start building whenever we're ready. The 
If we built a workshop, we could keep our weapons in good repair. It could be worthwhile to climb up and get a better look around. Time to look around. This area might not be too picked over. It'd be worth searching a few of the nearby places. I like that idea. Let's figure out what we need and try gathering that first. Screamer here. That's enough looking around for now. Go for it. Later, buddy. When that workshop is done, we'll be able to keep our weapons from falling apart on us. There's nothing worse than being unarmed out there. If we're gonna survive, we have to make it clear to everybody out there not to fuck with us. Ever. There's a military site not far from here. I say we put up an outpost there as soon as we can. That'll tell anyone coming into town who's in charge. Plus, we get a steady supply of ammo. Work, amigos. So, what do we got today? Sure.
Now that's heavy. Let's get down to business. I don't see why not. <laughs> 